everybody, it's Tim. Welcome back to another episode of Boone County Beekeeper. Now today, it is uh, Saturday. It is the 11th day of May. Uh, a little cool here. Uh, in the 40s last night, uh, up about 60 now, about 10, 15 today. Uh, the bees are starting to fly pretty good. Uh, I'm standing here looking at them. Uh, we've had some things happen this week, guys, that I wanted to fill you in before we jump into the bees. I've got a couple jobs I need to do here today. Uh, but I want to tell you what's where we're at and what's going on now If you remember in the last video uh, We got into fake of May and we put a super on there uh, We got into the buck fast that hive IQ and uh, we took a feeder out put a couple frames in I'll be honest. I didn't like what I saw on either one just uh, too much stuff going on everything's blooming uh, way too many things happening right now and uh, I'm afraid they're gonna get honey bound, and I'm telling you, they was full of honey. So I laid there in the bed and thought about this, and I come up uh, Tuesday. Uh, it's been rainy. Uh, I come up Tuesday. It was actually raining, and luckily, when I pulled in, guess what? It stopped raining. So I went ahead and I jumped in here, and I'm gonna show you what we've done. Uh, made a few changes here, and we're not gonna get in them today. But if you can see right there, uh, they look a lot different now. The uh, the fake apame here. Let me tell you what I did. Uh, I got in that uh, bottom deep, and if you remember, I'd put this top super on there. Well, uh, when I got up here, uh, I got in that, and sure enough, I had honey everywhere. And uh, I went ahead and I found three uh, three full deep frames, solid honey. I mean, beautiful honey. So I went ahead and I pulled them out and I took that up to this yellow deep. I went ahead and put that one on and uh, I put one on one end, one on the other and one full one right in the middle. And then I filled the rest of it in with comb and foundation. Uh, this top, if you remember, that was my honey super that I put on. It was absolutely slam packed full of bees and they was already storing nectar in all that combs <laughs> they was really really doing it in just two days time well uh, i went ahead and put my excluder back on under the yet between the yellow and the blue so now we've got a, two two supers on one's a deep uh maybe they'll do something but i see pollen coming in here like crazy so let me jump over here on the buck fast on the hive iq all right guys listen i uh, really didn't like what i saw in there so i get in there and uh, they're chalk full of honey, uh, same thing. I went ahead and brought my other boxes up. Uh, the purple box is, I'm gonna run it as a double deep. I went ahead and put it on top. I pulled some honey up, and then I went ahead and pulled a little bit of brood up. Now, when I got in there about halfway across of the yellow box, uh, one of the original frames that I bought with the nuke, when I pulled it out, guess what I found, guys, yep. A queen cell capped I thought oh no well it was already capped it was it was a pretty sale well I went ahead and uh, I thought what now so luckily luckily over here I had brought up a seven frame apame <laughs> so I went ahead and I took this sale out and I went over to the next frame and guess what there was my queen so she was safe. I went ahead, left her in there, but I did pull another brood frame out. And I placed both of those, the, the cap cell frame and another frame of brood and bees into that one side of that apame. I blocked them off for two days and I come up and I let them out. Now, went ahead and checkerboarded everything in, running as a double deep. Uh, she's got plenty of space now. Uh, will she stay? We'll have to just wait and see. I went ahead and put my excluder on, put that top yellow box on. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know. That was, uh, I think it was a mixture of uh, comb and some foundation. Maybe they'll draw me some out. I don't know. So we'll see. But uh, that's where we're at. That's what we've done. Uh, I was worried about that. I really was. Now, uh, the apame, I'm not even going to get in there. I'm, I mean, I'm going to wait. 
I'm going to wait another week or so. Uh, did that cell emerge? I don't know. Uh, if it didn't, they should have plenty of resources in there. They can build them another queen. So we'll just see. Uh, but everybody seems to be flying pretty well. And we'll just have to go from there and see what we got. Now let me tell you what we're going to do today. And then we'll begin. Uh, sorry to be so chatty. But that's just the way that I am. Now, if you remember here, let me turn you back around. Uh, hive 52 and then also hive 32. If you remember now, a uh, swarm that I caught at my buddy's house, I filmed that, transferring. Uh, over here is a swarm that I caught at my house. Didn't film that one. Okay, uh, what I want to do today, and you're going to think, why are you doing this? But I'm going to tell you why here in just a minute. Uh, we're going to get in 52 and also 32. And we got a mark queen, not a mark queen over here, but I did see her. So now here's what I want to do, guys. I'm going to get in there. We're going to go through it, see where they're at. Uh, kind of do a little evaluation on them. If everybody looks good, now here's the crazy part. I'm going to pull those queens out. Uh, and you're thinking, why are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to pull them out. Here's why. And I, I've actually thought about this last year. Uh, you know, everything that I have swarms except for those two that I bought, that's all I've ever fooled with is swarms. And so many times that has bit me. Uh, you get down there, you get to about uh, fall, you get into winter or spring. I've had it happen in spring. Something happens to that queen, uh, dies, just quits laying, whatever, and then you're doomed. I mean, and that, that happens, that's happened several times to me because when you catch these swarms, that's one bad thing. Yeah, you got a good queen, but you don't know how old she is. You know, she may be very old. So today, what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to move them. I'm going to put them in nuke boxes with another frame of brood, put them over here. We're going to use it for resource bees. And it's time of the year. It's May the 11th. You got to think, give them a month, let them requeen. Uh, middle of June, right? Let her be laying pretty good, and then we'll do our apivar, okay? Uh, 42 days on those colonies. Uh, that takes you in about the 1st of August. Then your treatment is done, other than oxalic acid. But then what I want to do is I want to use those two hives. I want to concentrate on one thing, comb building. Uh, I love through the dearth. Used to do a lot of it, didn't really do none last year, but I'm going to get back to it because comb, man, you got to have comb, especially for honey, okay? So what I usually do is I go ahead and I'll put me another uh, medium on there, and that will be their medium that they will right through the winter, and then I'll put me an excluder on top of that. I'll put me some empty foundation and a top feeder on top of that, and you got to keep the feed poured to them. I mean, keep the feed poured to them and they will build comb. And then what I usually do is I spin it out. Once I get it fully in there, I'll spin it out. And then I just put it right back in with my sugar syrup, feed it right back to the bees. You'd be surprised how fast they can build out a box of comb if you can keep that feed poured to them. So uh, I got a, a big load of stuff here in the truck gonna light my smoker start packing stuff over uh a little bit cool here today guys probably about 60 right now so uh it's not gonna be real hot today it should be a good day to do this we'll see all right i've chatted long enough let's get in there let me get set up and we'll be right back so hang tight all right guys here we are hive number 52 now let's see what we got and if you remember this is a swarm that we got oh boy we got a lot of honey this is a swarm we got down there at my buddy's yard they've built everywhere looks like uh yeah they've built comb everywhere oh yeah look at that i'm telling you guys i've never seen a honey flow like what's coming in right now it's crazy it is absolutely crazy. Look at this. They've just been that little bit of space. They've built off that lid. 
So we'll get them here. I'm going to smoke them down. We'll see what we got. <laughs> that tells me something here. Give them a little puff of smoke. That's some pretty... Cannot help it, guys. It's everywhere. I'll take this out here and let them rob this. We may have taste that here in a little bit. We'll work on that lid here in just a minute. Give me a second. I'm going to set this over here somewhere. All right, so we got that cleaned up. Give him something to do here. Lick all that honey off. And I've not been in this colony since... Uh, the day that we put them in here, which has been exactly two weeks. It was a very strong swarm. See how they're filling that out? Nectar. Hopefully you can see that nectar is what they're putting in. But we'll see what we got here. I really need to find this queen for us to be able to do what we're going to do. Now, here's a solid nectar frame. Look at this side here. Already capped. A lot of it. Bees are looking good. Can you see that? Yep. All right, so let's keep on going. This flow is just, it's outrageous this year. It's a, uh, <laughs> we got black locust. Look here. Another solid honey frame. Solid honey frame. That is a heavy frame right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. It really is. Just, uh, it's crazy. Alright, ladies, y'all just calm down a little bit. We're getting a little carried away here. Alright, here we got brood. We got brood and honey. Right here, the same brood and honey. I see uh, eggs down in there everywhere. So this is a good frame to leave in here. I see all kind of fresh eggs. So that would be a good one for them to uh, make them a queen if they will. So we'll see. Now all we need to do is find this queen. Oh man, look here. Solid brood and honey. There's my queen right there. You see her white dot on her. Let's go ahead and take her, put her down in here. So she's safe right now. She is safe. Let's get us one more. And then we'll button these girls on up and move to the next one. Look here. Brood, I see uh, oh, I see eggs everywhere. Right here we go. Good looking bees brood, some honey. I'm gonna leave this one in here. All right, ladies, calm down a little bit. Glad we found that queen. That's good. Now what we'll do, we'll button these girls up and we'll just leave them for a while and let them requeen. Okay, now here's another good frame. Brood, bees, honey. Oh yeah, lots of bees. I'm gonna take this one. So that'll be our split. Take that right there. Okay, we'll keep them right here. So there's our split. Now, let me see if glance at these other frames. See what we got. Now they're here. Brood, uh, larva, eggs. Yeah, they're getting wound up. So let's go ahead and button them back up. Go ahead and button these girls back up. And we'll just let them make them a queen. Keep this one on the outside. Let me get me a couple frames, guys. All right, so here we go. A couple empties. We'll just let them work. Now, here is where you're going to think I'm crazy, which I know I'm crazy. I do some crazy things sometimes, I know. And they're getting fired up. I think they realize they're cleanless. So what we're going to do is this here.
I've sensed her cleanless. And since we've got all this honey coming in, and they're not going to be going through a whole lot of things happening. Hold on. We're going to come over here. Let me lay these down. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay some, scoot over ladies, a box of drone comb right on top. Already ready to go. Got 10 frames in there. Some of it, most of it's drawn. Some of it's not drawn. Now, will they do anything with it? Maybe. Uh, maybe they will. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. We'll go to the next one. Before I do this, I'm going to have to get on this here and I'm just going to lay this lid on that. I'm going to have to scrape this uh, comb here off of this inner cover. See that? I'm going to have to get rid of that. So, all right, so we'll just move on to the next one, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, so we're back and uh, we got the split made. Uh, Got them into a nuke box up there. Now, this one here you've not seen yet. This one here is a uh, swarm that I caught down at my house. Uh, don't have as much comb built up here, so that's good. This actually still has the feeder, and I'm gonna take that out and we'll fill them up with comb. Uh, actually, let me see if I can get this out. Here we go. Get this out. All right, so they drunk all their sugar. All right, so I've not been in here either since uh, since the day that I put them in, which was two weeks ago. Right here, food frame. You see solid nectar. Uh, this side, nothing yet. So this queen here is not marked, so I'm going to have to really look for her. If we find her, we'll mark her, and then we'll get her in another box. So this will take just a few minutes. Now right here, I see eggs absolutely everywhere, guys. This is a good frame to leave in here. Full of eggs. Um, don't see the queen right off the bat. We may have to go through this a couple times, which I'll edit that out. We really need to find this old girl. All right, so let's get this over. Try to use the least amount of smoke as possible. Them other girls was a little bit irate. Now, good brood right here, larva. Uh, good brood and larva. Look at what a solid sheet of brood. She's a good one. And I may not be able to pull her out of here today if I can't find her, but this will be a perfect, perfect time. It's a good time right now, guys, to do splits. Uh, heavy flow coming in early in the year, so the birds and the, the dragonflies are not too bad yet. That's a beautiful brood. That's a good fresh brood. All them mother cells is laid up, so she's a good queen. Really good queen. They seem like good gentle bees. Those others there was just a little bit on the irate side. Now, can you see that? I hope that's a Another good solid food and brood frame. Still have not seen my little lady, but we will. We'll go through them a couple times. I'm gonna do the same thing uh, to my long hive over there. And that way, here's my philosophy on that. I've, like I said, I've been bit several times with the uh, queens failing, queens dying in the in the late summer, fall, too late to, to do anything about it, uh, not good. And then I've lost them in the winter, a good solid sheet of brood right there. I've lost them in the winter, and uh, I just, I, I, don't, I don't like that. So I would rather, and would feel a whole lot better going into uh, fall and winter and coming out in spring 
with a good, healthy, new 24 green dot queen to lay me up some brood next uh, summer and get me some honey. Now, let's see what else we got. Man, another solid sheet of brood. I would love to find our little lady. Where are you at, little girl? Where are you at, little girl? She's a big brown queen. I seen her uh, when I put her in here, but she stayed on the bottom of the frame. Would not let me get her in the old guillotine over there. So, all right, so good. She's laying good brood. And this is a, this is a good little colony. And I know people are thinking, why in the world would you want to get that queen out of there? Well, that's my reasoning. And then plus, I'm not killing her. I'm just moving her. So if we need her, guess what? We can pull her back over here. Now, but I've got to find her first. Got to find her first. This box is getting ready to absolutely explode. She has laid it up big time. I'm sorry guys, I know this is not very exciting. Man, they're really bringing in the pollen too. All right, so I do not see her. So I'm gonna go back through here in just a minute. Uh, oh, take it back, right there she is. So I'm gonna go ahead and move her over and I'll mark her here in just a minute. So there she in fact is, beautiful queen. Let's go ahead and get her in the box. So there she is, she's safe. Excellent. Heard my dad starting his truck. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this one too. Yep, I'm glad we found her. So another good pollen frame right here. Nectar just starting on this. We'll put that back in. Okay, so let's do this. So we are in fact queenless. We are in fact queenless right here, guys. So that's what we want. All right, so we'll get this over. Here, let me get me a few uh, frames. Hold on. All right, so let me see something here, guys. We only pulled one out, didn't we? That's one with the queen on it. Yes, so I need one more. Let me get another good brood frame here. I think it's the one that had all the eggs on it. Yeah, man, that's full of larva eggs. We'll leave that right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one over, keep that warm. And we'll take this one right here and see what this looks like. Okay, good brood frame, got larva, got everything in there. I'll take this one along with the nurse bees and we'll put it in here. All right, so there is, in fact, that's another split. So let's do this. We've got a drone comb here. I'll put it right there. I'm going to put it in the center. We should have nothing to lay in it. So now, just for the heck of it, go ahead and put some. I need one more. Hang on. All right, good bees. Fairly calm. All right, so here we go. Now I'm gonna tell you what, not a lot of bees in there, I know that. And it's probably useless to do this. But, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Cause it's gonna be a while before I get back in here. Another excluder right here. Never use a plastic when we'll try that. Okay, so I'm gonna take me a, a little bit here, a drone comb. And we probably won't get anything in here, but they're gonna be busy building McQueen. Uh, we'll give them something to do here. It's all drone. Uh, let me get my spacer. Hey, if we get a few frames of honey, 
that would be more than okay with me, you know. Sure would. All right, so there's that. Now, I think when this brood emerges, there'll be a lot of bees in this box. But they got a lot of work to do. Probably pointless putting that on, but we'll do it anyway. Now, that is basically it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope what I did made sense. <laughs> like I said, I've thought a lot about it. Really started thinking about it last last year. Let me get you real quick. We'll close this thing out. So really, I, I thought a lot about it all last year, all through the winter. And uh, I just, you know, if I can make me a new queen, uh, I would feel a whole lot better going into the season, winter season, and coming out of the winter season with a brand new 24 green dot queen. Uh, then we should be set up good for the honey flow uh, next year. If I'm still alive, you never know. May be here, may not. But if not, somebody will definitely have some uh, good bees. Now listen, here's my plan. I done told you a little bit. I want to I want to build comb, that's what I want to do. And we'll get this done, this is step one. We'll go ahead and we'll go from here. We'll uh, we'll build some comb late in the, the season. So you stick around and watch for those videos. I love building comb. And every box of comb that we can get, that's one more box of honey for next year. So like I said, probably pointless putting that super on that last one, but I'm not gonna be in there for a month. They'll have some space. They can store their stuff up there, and we should be in good shape. So, guys, this is Tim. Uh, I'd like to say God bless you, God bless your family, and God bless your bees. I hope you and your family's well. Uh, I hope your bees are doing well. I hope you're having a, a wonderful honey season. I'm telling you guys here in West Virginia, uh, everything has absolutely just hit all at once, and we've got nectar absolutely these bees looks like missiles coming in and out of here. The sun's starting to shine, so that's a good thing. So uh, I hope your season's going just as well. The popper, I will say this, it's actually just started here just a few days ago. Uh, we're always later right here than where I am down there at my house. Uh, we're about halfway through at my house, just getting kicked off here. So good time to put these boxes on. Uh, I'm gonna go over here into the long hive find that queen, do an inspection, do the same thing. I will film that, but you won't see that till this winter. So uh, with that being said, guys, get out there and check your bees. Uh, man, I tell you, I was worried. I mean, I, it's a good thing I got in these other ones when I did, or they would have been gone. So get out there and check them. Uh, all this nectar coming in, man, they'll get plugged out for sure. So uh, take care of yourself. If you don't care, hit that like and hit the subscribe. That helps me a lot. Uh, I know I'm long-winded and I apologize for that, but that's just, that's just who I am. Uh, I want to be brutally honest why I do the crazy things that I do. So the timing is about right. May, uh, middle of June, should have a good laying queen. Uh, it won't take them long to realize that they're queenless. Uh, we'll have us a good laying queen middle of June. We'll put her apivar on once she lays us a few frames up. Get us some brood coming. We'll do our apivar. Uh, that should take us up to about the first part of August. And then August and September, not gonna be anything going on anyway but dearth. So uh, it'll be a great time to build some comb. And I'll tell you, bees, they need something to do. So if we keep the feed up against them, let them build comb, that'd be a good thing. So guys, this is it. Uh, I'll cut it off right here and uh, love each and every one of you. And I hope everybody's well. So until next time, this is Tim, the Boone County Beekeeper. Thanks for stopping by.